good morning guys welcome to today's video today is seven t minus one until the day the best day of the year mother's day we have little miss molly sitting by her owner Look at that some tea yeah rip off are you gonna sue them uh -huh. uh huh um so last night when we had baby jack here we had pizza we is haven't had pepper? pizza in a really long time have we is this pepper yeah but it tastes good on pizza like pepper you know what tastes better? actually tastes good on pizza this? what diet root beer Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, um, we have four pieces, five pieces of pizza left over, so the girls are having it for breakfast. Well, and they, they also talk to me. No, really well. Um, oh shoot, that was too. <laughs> Gabby's I know splitting the pot. Really good, like really well root beer. After going on our trip to Great Wolf Lodge, because that's all I drink. Um, so we never have pop, but we had pop last last night. One is left over, so they're getting rid of it today. Yeah, that was bad math. So they're splitting the pizza, they're splitting the root beer. Sophie's picking up all the green peppers. We had, ooh, we had a pepperoni and we had um, combination, which has all sorts of amazing Guys, things on it. You want to know why I don't like Jim's pizza? Why don't you like Jim's pizza? Okay, so first of all, it tastes gross. Pizza pizza is better. Pizza pizza is cheap pizza, I pizza, can't pizza stand it. Pizza pizza is number one. Little Caesars is number two. I love Little Caesars. Think fast. That was not thinking fast. Okay, so I'm headed out. Can I leave? Or are you still talking? And uh, what was I talking about? Remind me now. Um, Little Caesars pizza is number oh. two. Pizza pizza is number one. Jim's pizzas, I don't like it. Because like underneath that, so it doesn't even get cooked. Look at like. I oh. love that. I love no, the cheese on top. It tastes like pep. ham. Not pepperoni, ham. You don't like well, ham. Well, it comes with a bread ball. Look at that. It's not even with, cooked underneath. It comes with a bread ball. And Sophie likes that it comes with a bread ball, right? Make sure you brush your hair before I get home. So it's true. My kids like cheap pizza. So does Sam. I hate pizza because the only kind of pizza they ever want to eat is gross cheap pizza. I love There's a place in town that makes pizza with like real, that makes pizza with real provolone cheese and like just so yummy. It's really expensive, 30 bucks a pizza versus like 10 bucks a pizza is the kind that Gabby likes. Is that Jen's? Yeah, and we got it yesterday. Mm, it was amazing. But anyway, Sam and I are headed out shopping. Girls are left to their own devices. Watch the puppy. We keep all of Molly's, well not all of them, she has a lot of toys. We sh we're going to switch them up soon. We keep her toys underneath here and every morning when it's time for her to chill out by Gabby, um, she finds her little favorite toys and plays with oh, them. She just learned how to squeak her and she, pig. And she learned how to squeak her pig. Squeak it. Squeak it. Squeak your piggy. Hi. She's such a cute puppy. So Molly is oh, eight. She also, uh oh. She also learned how to do that with the couch and the table. She stands up like, oh my God, I'm gonna eat Yeah, food. things are gonna get That's bad. What she does with yeah, things are getting bad. She's at the walking around the furniture stage, people. <laughs> Soon my kids are going to learn to keep everything picked up. Everything before she eats it. We've had dogs before that have eaten our cell phones. Yeah, on the counter. So Sam and I are headed out. As you can see, we are in the car. A rare occurrence these days. It's Saturday. We need shavings. We need horse stuff. That seems to be our weekly shopping these days. Um, but the one fun thing that we're going to do is that hardware stores are opening up in Canada today. Today is opening day for all the hardware stores. So we are going to go and get us some paint because even though it is freezing outside right now, literally winter, we are going to get warmer weather this week. And the girls and I want to paint our poles. So it's absolutely packed. There must be lineups. It's packed, you guys. This is the biggest most packed parking lot of earth. <gasps> Wait, this car. No, Tesla should be watching as he's driving. Look at this. Look at that. That is the first day. It's the first day. Holy heck. We're never getting in. There's a lineup. There's a lineup. Big lineup. Big lineup for paint. Okay. So we made it this far, now we have to get through here. Right, we're at the finish line. We're the next ones in. We got our cart. We just have to wait for one person to leave and then we're ready. We're in, we got in, I'm so cold. 
I'm so cold, you guys. Oh, Never way. been so cold. One hour in line. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Go follow the arrows. We went the wrong way. Sam's making me go the wrong way. We're following the wrong way. I've not bought paint in so long. Did you know that it costs between sixty and a hundred dollars for a thing of paint? Sixty and a hundred dollars for for paint. We found this section that has actual colored paint already. Look at how cute those colors are. I would love that turquoise. Farmhouse red. Where's the farmhouse red? I would choose the red and that, I, I don't know, I like the purple and the blue. That's what I would get, but wood is actually cheap. This is $3.55, $3. And then we ended up getting three different kinds of paint. We're getting blue for Sophie. Yellow for Gabby, and then red, and white. Never again, oh, I'm literally so cold. I don't know if you guys can see how red I am. There was not enough time. It was an hour wait to get in the store, and then it didn't take us long to shop, so we didn't even get warm. Like, I've never been so cold. Whew. And then we had to walk so far back to our car. Oh. So I spent $140 in paint. It costs $140 just to paint poles. I hope my kids appreciate this. I really do. Um, I'm excited though. I don't think we've really like done anything super fun like this in a while. I think we need it for our school. Learning to scrape the paint off poles and repaint poles and learning how to tape and stuff. I think it'll be fun for us. Can you guys see the snow? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's snowing. That's how cold it is. Okay, so we are home and we had trouble. It's white. We had trouble getting color. So the poles are gonna have to be white like our green ones and then the ends are gonna be colors. So these are the colors that we got. We got... Is this red? No, look at the top. Blue. That's blue. Do you like it? Have the dogs gone out? What color is this? Is this white? No. Look at the bottom. Red? Yep. Okay. Kind of hard to tell. Yellow. Do you like them? Yeah. Me too. Stop cheating. You're trying to get bonus points. Okay, so we are home. We're getting ready to go down to feed the horses. Sophie's got on her bathrobe. I've got on one of Sam's sweaters because I've over top of the sweater. Three day old pants that I only wear a lot. Maybe four. Okay, we got these all on because it's icy outside and none of us want to go out there, but we have to go out there. Yeah, but before we do before we go down there though, we're gonna do a little tiny challenge. Today marks two exact weeks that we've had this sweet baby princess. She's grown a lot, she's changed so much, she loves us she has all. A big nose. Like she's a got big a cute, gorgeous nose. nose. Like I like I told Sam today when I've we were standing in shoulder. line. I've never loved a dog like this. Marking stop. Like a puppy. Like normally so it gets to the stops? point. Yes. Normally it gets to the point where they're annoying and she is kind of annoying, but I just think that she's so good. Like she's amazing. So get to the point, Laura. The point is, is that she's bonded with all of us in a different way. Don't forget that the man that raised her, that had her, she was only around men before she moved here. Yeah, so that gives Sam an added uh, advantage. But you guys know that we are about to do the first ever who does, who does Molly choose video. Like this is, you look at her looking at me. Look at me, Molly. <laughs> Remember me. <laughs> so we're gonna do it right now and see who she goes to. So we're gonna have to do teams of two because there's four of us. And so who oh, so the top so whoever she chooses goes So who to yeah, her. so whoever she chooses both times are gonna go um in for the next the final round. So what we're gonna do right is Typically, this is how we do it. Wait, we need okay. to be even. So why don't you guys Ow. call her before I even put her down and I'll hold her. Molly! Molly! Come here, Molly! Molly! Molly. 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 No hands, no hands. Three. Molly! 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 Molly. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's do that again without the scream. I feel. <laughs> Molly, come here, Molly. Come here, Molly. I feel like she's just a puppy and will go to anybody, but Gabby like got so upset that she was like, "Oh, I'll go to you." Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Did you see that? She's waiting for the treat. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm gonna video. I got Sam here, and I've got me, and we're gonna see. He is to be excited. All right. Come on, Molly. Come on. Come on, Molly. Come on. Come on, Molly. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Molly. 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 Come on, Molly. Love strong minded okay. people. Okay. Hurry up, We're gonna down. do the final round. It's gonna be Gabby and me. Come Ready? You go grab her. <laughs> Try round two. Round two. Oh. All right. You have a treat too. Well, I mean, it's only right that she loves you most. She's your dog. Okay, now Gabby's the Gabby. winner. Me against Sophie now, just to see I'm if I Gabby can get the dog. Right, you guys. You got Molly. Sam and Sophie. Molly. 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 <laughs> All the times you take her out for a run and to go pee and she doesn't even go to you. Oh, they would come to me. She used to be a man's dog and now she now she loves her girls. Come here, Molly. Girl. It's actually not so bad in the sun. Okay, it is bad in the sun, but it's not like so bad like it was this morning. Stocked up on shavings for the week. Ooh, the wind coming through here is bad. It is. Five degrees. Five degrees in the barn. It's terrible. It's just terrible. But this is it, you guys. It's gonna start getting warmer after this weekend. A lot of the people that I know that have horses are women, and the men don't usually, their husbands don't usually help them. So I'm super grateful that our husband helps us. Watch out, yours is coming. I'm gonna get. Hello, Gracie. Hello, pretty princess. So, these are some of the poles that we're going to be painting and we're gonna paint them similar to the green ones. So we're gonna have white poles with green, white poles with uh, red, white poles with yellow, and white poles with blue. Um, this is one of the poles that we're gonna paint and I, they wanna do it first. I bought this, no, you can do it anyway. I bought this handy dandy scraper. No, go backwards. But the blade's pointed like that. Who cares? Go backwards. Isn't it cool? Like, I want to do it. Should I do it? That got Sophie have a turn. Like, this is going to be what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm excited. This is what I want to do for Mother's Day. I know, because it's exciting, right? It's vibrant. It's vibrant. So this is like a square pole. Okay, let Sophie have a turn. And we have to get rid of this. We can't leave paint in the arena for the horses to eat. I don't know if the horses would eat it. It's non-toxic, but I still don't think it's good for them. Does it feel good? It's hard. It's fun. Hard. Look, it's so satisfying. It is not satisfying. No work. Is... Don't do the green ones. We're gonna keep the green. This is what our new poles are all gonna look like. I don't want them exactly like that. Get off the pony. Stop climbing on the pony. So, um, and then this other one is like a square pole. I like these ones. And so this one's gonna be mine, cause I'm doing red. Sophie's doing blue and Gabby's doing yellow. I wanted the yellow, but I gave in to her. But yeah, it'll take us like 10 minutes to scrape these, I betcha. We could probably do them today. So this will be the red one, because it's pink. So Gabby says we have four poles to paint. I love two more. And but she, not the poles in the arena. Oh, so, so six poles to paint. Then I want to paint. So we already have six poles to paint. 
So this is the mare's field all flattened. Sam fixed it. Isn't that so much better? Let's look at our own little pond here in the back. So uh, we ha also have all these poles. Funny. What? Funny. Where is it? it so we also have all these poles that we could maybe find some. Oh. And we're thinking about putting our pool right in here. This area, it's kind of flat. Like right here, this is where we're gonna put our pool. In here, because we can hook it to the barn. Wow, giving the ponies this extra big part of the backyard, it took up a lot of space. All right. Do you see any other good poles? Because these would be great. Like that one. You want that one? No. Because these... These are skinny. Too skinny? Yeah. This one. Look, I see one right in there. Look, I see one in there that looks really good. There? Right there. See the middle one? There's no snakes. Too cold for snakes. Fall and break anything. Oh, oh, this would be cute. What could we use for that? Be under it. I like it. So look, put your foot down to the left. Yeah. That's too thick. Too thick? Alright, Gabby likes this one. Here, let me see if I can grab it. Oh, I can. Oh, it's skinny. Too oh, that's fine. We can do it's so skinny. Ah, uh, too skinny. No. I, I think this have... one's good. Oh yeah, that's too long. That shows they have skinnies too. Do they? So we need to practice. Plus, if we, hard. but look at how short it is. It's not tall, long enough. Oh, that should be fine. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Short. It might be long. Ah. No, I can literally see like the end. Of it. Skinnies get smaller than that one. I'll get Dad to saw off all the ow, all the knots. Do you really think this one will be good though? Yeah, it's a good skinny one. Yeah, it likes to torture us, mostly Brandon. She thinks it'll be good. Oh, what about this one? This one's. Oh, I like that line. one. Is that one too good? Is that one good? Longer? It's longer. Let's see. Yeah, it's longer. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. All right, let's go take like that one. Inches. All right, let's take that one. Three Look at the one to the right of you. Looks really good. Touch can't the... get it underneath this. Oh, I can get it. You want me to get it? them to shave the knots off them so they're even better then we're gonna spend hopefully most of tomorrow painting them <coughs> the next thing I'm gonna look into today is that people are saying we should sell but I'll probably just give away our horse poop for gardens people are it's getting to be garden season here so um, I'm gonna look in to see how I do it like do I pick out the chunks of poop or is it the compost I'll show you so is it like just this stuff that's got shavings in it that I use or do I have to like clean out the clean out the poop? Like, how do I do it? Do I just bag this stuff up? Because I have no problem bagging up horse poop to give away to people and get rid of it that way. I think and that'd be great. Or people can come and get truckloads. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make Sam put an uh, ad up and tell them come get our horse poop for free. It might be good. All right, there's Finn's. Fiona has her heavy blankets on today. Here. Yeah. This this is nobody's, is it? That's that's Chino's insulated green sheet. That's not even insulated. That's just a plain ordinary. It's an insulated oh, yeah. rain sheet. No, it's a medium white rain sheet. Forgot All right, should we put that on him then? 
Oh, yeah, that's his. My right. ankle's killing me right now. Yeah, tell them what I'll happened. Turn what happened? I, it's like I sprained my ankle. Yeah, I noticed in the vlog yesterday, Sophie's been limping, and then I watched her come down the stairs this morning limping. She's been limping. Because it happens like every two months. Yeah. Somebody mentioned the fact that she walks on the inside or the outside of her feet, and she has since she was a baby, and I swear I have tried to get her fixed up for this so many times, and everybody says she's okay. I'll turn off the light. All right, thank you. Close up the barn. Uh, somebody else asked about Chino's feet, and I have a story about it. I'm gonna show you Chino's feet. The wind is really loud out there, so you're probably not gonna hear what I have to say, but I'll tell you what I wanna say about it when we get back to the house. Mommy, but I'm gonna show you. Chino's feet. I wanted to show you guys. Storm! I say leave him with a cold blanket. With one's blanket on, then too bad for him. She you know. <laughs> was like, I'll take it. It's because you scared him with the blankets. Oh, it's just a blanket. It's Finn's blanket. You've seen it a million times. Finn was such a good boy. Such a good pony. Storm. Storm's gonna get ridden tomorrow. Gabby, you're riding Storm tomorrow. What are you doing? That was brutal. Gabby scared the horses because she threw the blankets in the field. And then Storm basically said, you better ride me tomorrow because I am fresher than heck. Oh. Gabby's making pancakes. Um, you guys saw that Storm ran off. And she basically said, if you want to run from me, then move your feet and you can run from me. And she made him run from her. And then finally he was like, okay, I give in. Let her change the blankets. Oh, it's so cold you guys. I'm frozen like winter frozen. So Luna underscore EQ asked Hey, I noticed that Chino's feet are flared out quite a bit. Is there a reason for that? Like is it in his confirmation or poor hoof maintenance in the past? I'm honestly just wondering. I really haven't noticed you talk about it in any of your vlogs But it also seems like you're all, like all you working horses have pretty flat but it also seems like all of your working horses have pretty flat hoof angles. Any reason why your farrier um, 
is isn't fixing that. Doesn't seem like much of a problem for the horses, so I'm sure it's fine. On another note, his hindquarters are filling out and he's gaining lots of muscle. It sucks that the grass ring isn't dry, but I think the indoor is making him more balanced and working from behind. You guys are doing amazing with your horses, by the way. Well, anyway, I wanted to address that because- it's making him not drop his shoulder in for tight turns. Yeah, Gabby is definitely noticing that the indoor, the smaller area, is working really well with him. Except for when we turn to jumps. It doesn't work because the indoor is small. Yeah, so they're good and they're are bad, but it's definitely doing something for him. Thank you for it's your only good for flat. question. I want to find this picture. What is it? Okay, so this is this is Chino, you guys. This is the very first picture that Fiona sent us it on New Year's Eve. She sent us this picture. Here's his feet. And she said, I, my friend, somebody I know is selling this horse. He's just about to go on the market. He's just about to go on the market. He's a really good mover. He's a really fancy horse. You should look at him. And I looked at the picture. So I looked at the picture and I looked at his feet and I said, okay, he's got duck feet. And she, she said, there's nothing wrong with his feet. He's fine. And I said, there's no way we're going to buy that horse. I hate like how he looks. I hated how his feet looked. I felt like there's probably something wrong with him because I don't know very much. And I said, no, we're not interested. I literally said that. And then the next day on New Year's Day, our other coach, Brandon, sent me the same picture and said, oh, my friend, somebody I know is selling this horse. And I said, oh, well, what's wrong with his feet? And he said, his feet seem fine. And I said, okay, well, they look like duck feet to me. And I don't know what they said. They may be said that's something the farrier can work with. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I said, yeah, like, we're not interested. He was expensive. And, yeah, that was the other thing. He was an expensive horse, and he had duck feet. So I did not want him. I sent a picture to my friend, and she said, you don't want that horse. I said, yeah, we don't want that horse. So then a couple of days went by. Just, yeah, a couple of days went by, and then our male trainer said, I have other clients. I'm going to go try the horse. And then, so the whole day, I was thinking, like, maybe we should go and try the horse. Just try the horse. Like, we can't just judge him not good for us because of his duck feet. So then, at the last second, the night before Brandon was going to go and try this horse, I, I messaged him and said, can we come? And he said, yeah, of course you can come. And then the rest is history. We got the horse. So, um, fast forward, we did the inspection, and um, the farrier got said... Got the horse later that night. Yeah, we got the horse the same day we tried him. And the farrier told us that he does have flat feet, and that he seems no, to be doing... the seller. Yeah, said. the seller. They were all really candid, open. They were all really open about his feet. He did have a uh, abscess, huge abscess blow through like literally the center of his hoof. And they've been working with him like for, to get it. It like took forever to grow out basically. When we did the PPE, um, he, they just basically what came from everything is that he does have flat feet. He's probably gonna need shoes at some point. He's managing fine right now. So we don't use shoes on him. Um, she also asked about all the angles of all their feet and from what I know and understand is that horses hooves are shaped the way they are to balance the horse the right way or whatever and all horses have different shaped feet and I look at show horses like fancy expensive show horses and they all have these cute little tiny trimmed feet but our farrier does a really good job and none of our horses have the same exact shape of feet and um, they seem to be doing really well on them so I don't question them. That's all I know and that is the story of Chino about his duck feet and how he almost didn't get them because of the shape of his feet but it turned out that it was nothing to worry about and he's been a phenomenal horse for us and our farrier is incredible. I love him. Would never ever trade him for the world. So anyway that is it. That is it for the rest of this day because our vlog is already going to be too long. It is Saturday. It is icy cold. We are getting ready for a big day of painting and more stuff tomorrow on Mother's Day and where the whole world has to do what I say. My whole world what has to Mother's do. Day? Yeah. Oh. They're like, oh no, it's not Mother's Day again. It was just Mother's Day last week it seems like. Um, anyway, we are, Sam and I are going to sit down and watch our show. We're watching Million Dollar Listing. It's one of our favorite shows. We're watching the whole last season and we're going to have um, yummy supper. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there and Good job to all you families out there making your moms feel special.